Zapier has really quietly released a new AI product called Zapier Central. It allows you to build autonomous AI agents or bots that work across the 6,000 plus apps that Zapier supports. And the best thing of all, at least for now, it's totally free. It is experimental, but I got some really amazing results with it. In this video, I'll show you how to use Zapier Central. And I'll use a good business use case. We're gonna take an inbound email sales lead. We're gonna use AI to classify it into three different categories, from cold to hot. We're gonna use data about our product set to actually draft a response, as well as send a notification to Slack. And the categorization and responses are really good. Let's go build it. So once you're all logged into Zapier Central, you can just create a blank bot. I created this one for a solar panel company. And where you want to start with your configurations is in the behaviors section. Let's just create a new behavior. And I like to give my behaviors a really detailed name for exactly what it does. So in this case, we're gonna get our triggered to be receiving a new email. Then we're gonna create a draft reply to that sales email. And we're also gonna send a Slack message to notify the sales team that something came in. So let's start with the trigger. And what the trigger is, is what happens to launch this bot. What's the trigger event? I'm gonna use Gmail and I'm gonna say a new email comes in. So I've already got my email connection all set up here. And under your label of mailbox, I usually like to set this to be something more specific. But in this case, I'm gonna use the Gmail label for sales. So now that we've got a trigger defined on how this bot's gonna start, we need to say what happens next and what actions are available. And this is where Zapier has a lot of power because it has over 6,000 different applications you can connect to and do actions on. In this case, I'm actually gonna do two things. The first is I wanna to reply to that email that came in with a sales response, but I don't wanna send it right away. I just wanna create a draft and let my sales team review that and then send it back. So I'm gonna say, create draft as my action. It'll be the same Gmail connection. And my subject and to address, I'm gonna say have AI generate a value for this field. The next thing I wanna do is configure an action in Slack. So I just select Slack here and I'll say send channel message. And again, I just set up my Slack connection. And then for my channel and message text, I'm also just letting AI generate it. That's a really cool thing about Zapier Central. There's so many different places you can just let AI decide what to do. And as you'll see in a second, it works amazingly well at figuring out what channel to go to. Okay, so now we got our two actions defined. We got our trigger defined, but now we actually have to tie it all together. We have to tell the system how it should orchestrate this and what we want to get out of it. And that's where you fill in in this instruction set. So I have a detailed instruction here that's gonna tell exactly how to use the action. So it says you're responsible for receiving emails in the sales label in Gmail and evaluating their prospect as a new customer for Acme Solar Corporation. Available as data, you have the Acme Solar price list. So I'll show you that in a second. That shows the price and some other attributes of our current offerings. After evaluation, create draft reply, referencing the data where applicable. So basically telling it to look at this price list look at the incoming email, do some evaluation, and then create a nice draft reply for me. Evaluate the prospect and put a message in one of three Slack channels. Cold sales lead and explain this is for a customer it's just fishing, no solid plans to buy. Let's see sales lead channel. Is a customer has some details, but no solid plan to buy solar panels. And the hot sales lead channel is the customer specific and detailed about what they need and they're gonna buy solar panels soon. So I'm asking the AI to qualify these sales leads and then put it in the correct Slack channel and then use a send channel message action we just configured to actually send it to Slack. Another cool thing is it actually suggests actions for you. So if I was doing something up here that wasn't configured yet, it would actually detect that and if there's an action available, it would actually show it right here. I think they're using this as a proving ground to build this out. And you'll see some of these features coming into just the normal Zapier really soon. Okay, now that I have our behaviors all set up, let's look at data sources. This is where you can give it information or data that it can use inside the bot. And we said the behaviors we want to reference a Google Sheet data source. We actually have a price list I put in, in Google Drive. And we simply just add that as a data source. And then once it loads that in, you can actually just click here and say view source. It actually just previews all the data that's in that table. So we have here the number of panels in the package, the power, the square footage of the total array takes up on your property. And then of course the price is the last one. And that's all the configuration we need for this sales bot. Let's just see how it works. You can actually use these bots in one of two ways. You can use it in the chat here and just provide emails and tell it to call different actions. But the way I like to use it better is just relying on the triggers themselves. So let's send a few emails into this inbox and see how it classifies them. Okay, so I sent a test email into my Gmail account and labeled it as sales. It took about 10-15 minutes, but Zapier did trigger on it and wrote the draft. Let's take a look how it did. So the input email is a bit vague. It just says I want a quote for some panels that take up to 700 square feet. Just exploring for now 
what do you got? So I think the Zapier Central bot did actually a really good job responding to this in its draft format. It's nicely written, and then it actually went and referenced the data file and found the two that are approximately in the 700 square foot range for area covered and put those both nicely in the email. So really good stuff and a really good starter point for the sales team to come in, make a few edits and send this off to Roger. And in terms of how I classify this to Slack, you remember I had the three Slack channels for the different categories. I'd say this one's kind of in the middle. The customer does have some specifics, but they're really not saying that they want to buy soon and they're just saying they're just exploring. So I put this as a kind of a let's see. I mean, it looks like me and AI saw it exactly the same way. They put it in the let's see sales lead channel. A couple other testing and every time they put it in the right category, how I would expect it to be labeled. For example, in the hot sales lead, I had one go in where I put in information about exactly what I needed in terms of panels, where I was located, and exactly the timeline. And it correctly identified that as a hot sales lead. So I'm super impressed with the ability to categorize these leads and also take data from that Google Doc and put it into the draft response. And if we go back to Zapier Central, it gives you this really nice audit of everything it does in this activity section. So you can see, you can use the triggers, the actions, and the data have them all come together using Zapier 6,000 plus applications, you could almost create limitless business workflows. But like I was saying, I think Zapier is really just building this as a proving ground and could put this amazing AI into their normal paid product. So I'm not sure it's gonna be free for that long. So make sure you check it out. And if you wanna stay up to date on all the latest AI for business, make sure you subscribe. I hope you're having an amazing day. I'll talk to you in the next one.